Hey guys, what's going on? This is a quick tutorial to show you how to put Game Boy and Game Boy Color ROMs on your Retro Mini. First off, we're going to download the Gomba app. I'll have the link down in the description to download. So once you have it downloaded, open it up, go through this file, and it'll be the last one on this list. So right click and open as administrator just to make sure we do things right the first time and click yes. Once you have it open, the first thing we're going to do is select the file type. And I selected the Gomba underscore MB as a file type. So we just click on here and went ahead and click on open. And the next thing we do is select the destination of this file to be saved, which I'm using the same destination where the Gomba app's at. And I'm gonna type in here in the text field, uh, our Pokemon Blue file, since that's our example. So once we have that typed in in the field, go ahead and click on save. And the next thing you have to do is find your Game Boy or Game Boy Color ROMs on your computer. And just to make it easy, just have it on your desktop. And I think that's the easiest way to find them. So I have them here in this folder. We're going to click here and just go down and select our file. Click Add. Once we have added, just click on Compile on the bottom. And that's it. It's done. So let's go back to our file browser and let's see what we have here and you see the file is the last one there so we did things right so let's click on this and let's plug in our retro mini since i'm using a virtual machine it's going to select which destination i'm just going to use my windows 8 and once it pops up we'll wait for it there it is um what i did was i went ahead and just uh, right clicked on the file copied it and I'm going to paste it into our retro money. Uh, I'm not sure why I just didn't select it from the sidebar, but I went inside here and just looked for our retro mini, clicked on here, clicked on game and went all the way to the bottom just to make sure I have it in the correct place. I just pasted it in the file and we are good. And that's it guys. So let's go ahead and see how this runs on our retro mini. So, like I said, guys, we have our SD card here on our Retro Mini. Go all the way to the end, and you'll see the Pokemon Blue GBA.GBA .GBA game. So, you see, it runs pretty smooth. Uh, there's no lag. It has cool borders on this game, which I didn't even know. Um, but yeah, this is a Retro Mini, guys. Just want to show you guys. And, <laughs> Dinged it up a little bit there, but it's okay. Um, just want to make sure we're we're all on the same page, and uh, want to show you how this runs just for a little bit. Click on new game and virtual no lag. This is the perfect game to run on a retro mini. Um, we have Professor Oak here, and yeah, let's go to another game. Once we're done here on this, I uh, just want to show you how other games that don't work too well on the retro mini. So the next one I did was just an example beforehand, which was our my favorite game when I was younger is Batman on the Game Boy on the original Game Boy so let me show you guys how this runs on the retro mini and keep in mind guys all the games that you want to play could either be really good or really bad you'll see how this one runs I had to actually you know do some workarounds which is pausing the game and then unpausing it as you can see it's already lagging here and um Let's go ahead and go into the gameplay. Yeah, guys, super laggy, so I paused it here. Took a break. And then unpaused it. Like I said, guys, this video part hasn't been edited, so this is all real time. And it does run smooth at the end. Um, I am playing Batman in full speed. No lag when I'm pressing buttons. Uh, but let's go ahead and try another game. I did want to show you guys a Game Boy Color ROM and I did upload Mario Brothers Deluxe uh, Because I did see a list and it said it was compatible. So let's see how this runs uh, So we have the splash screen here. Everything looks good No lag here. Perfect But once you get into the gameplay, it's a little different Once uh, you'll see So yeah it skips ahead or skips behind. I'm not even sure what it's doing, but it's not running smooth. 
And the last game I do want to show you guys is uh, Zelda. Just a regular Game Boy ROM. Um, I did, like, don't mind the ROM names. I was just doing a bunch of examples for testing purposes. And we do have Zelda here. And you'll see how it runs. So the moral story, guys, is upload all the games that you want on your Retro Mini from Game Boy, Game Boy Color. But just <laughs> be aware that they all run at different frame rates, different lag, different speeds. So just to, you know, just to caution everybody. But pretty much, guys, it's, you see, you know, Zelda here running. It's running smooth after the splash screen, so that's good. But like I said... If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching everybody. Peace.